Okay, by now you probably have caught on that there is right now a very large cryptocurrency bubble going on that has led to a shortage of AMD graphics cards, at least for those of you that want to pay reasonable prices for them. But there are still many gamers out there that have these AMD graphics cards already on hand because they bought them for the purposes of gaming, and maybe you want to turn that into a little bit of profit per month by setting up your own computer to mine cryptocurrency. This would include graphics cards like the R9 290s, 290Xs, 390s, 390Xs, the newer cards like the 480s, 470s, or the 580s and 570s. So for those of you that do have those cards laying around and you want to earn a little bit of spare change for your time and effort, this is a very simple way of setting up your computer to do some cryptocurrency mining in your free time when you're not actually gaming, and it is actually, unlike many other tutorials, very simple. Let's go! Okay, so as you can see, this is a completely clean installation of Windows. I have done absolutely nothing with this computer except let it automatically install my graphics drivers for the RX 460s that are inside this computer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a web browser, and, and it doesn't matter what you use as your web browser. And you're going to want to go to Minergate.com. Now, next, you're going to want to just, staying up in the top bar here on the website, just go to Downloads, and Minergate's website will typically uh, tell you what version of your operating system you have. In our case, it's Windows 7 or later, 64-bit is the one we want, so you just click the Get It button. Now, once it's downloading, all you need to do is either go to your Downloads folder or just run it from the web browser. And you can also close your web browser at this point. And then it's just a matter of clicking through the wizard for installing this particular program. I don't change any of the settings, including, and of course you can always change the destination folder, but I even leave that alone. And then at the end, I leave that checkbox of run minor gate running and I go ahead and click finish. Now, when Minergate first opens, if you haven't made an account, you would click create account. I have made an account, so I just have to enter my information here. Um, the account is very simple to make. It's just basic fill-in form, um, your email, your password, that sort of thing. Now, when Minergate first opens, you'll notice that it is clicked into the Smart Miner tab, and that's just going to basically use your hardware to get as much profit as possible. Right now, it defaults to the XMR, the Monero currency, um, and it is using both my GPU and my CPUs to mine right now. I'm going to go ahead and stop those and go just over to the miner. And at this point, you have several different uh, currencies you can mine from, and they're all sort of over here on this left side. You have your Bitcoin, your Ethereum. Uh, down here, you have Monero. XDN has been pretty big lately. That's the one that I've been mining um, because it's been growing extremely rapidly lately. But basically, you can pick from any of the currencies you want and just begin mining them. So as soon as you click on the Start Mining button over by Ethereum, it's going to give you a 0% DAG prepared. Once it gets completely through with that, it will start mining. Now, since I have two GPUs installed, I have to use these two sliders to adjust the intensity of each GPU for the mining purposes. Um, if I'm not doing anything else with the computer at the time, I'll just pull those sliders clear to the right to max them out. If I am doing something else with the computer, I might sort of put them back a little bit. If you only have one GPU, it'll look more like the CPU drop-down menu. In my case, I have an FX8350 in this computer, so it gives me the ability of running all eight threads at one time. However, again, I can select however many I want and let it go. Of course, depending on which currency you happen to be mining, it may sort of uh, force you to adjust your hardware accordingly. If you are Ethereum mining, like many people are uh, as of late, then the Radeon graphics cards from AMD are a hot seller. If you're one of the many people wondering why uh, these graphics cards are so expensive right now uh, from AMD, then you can see my video in the card. But basically, miners have really driven up the cost lately of those cards. Now for me, since I want to set this computer up for XDN mining, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my sliders and pull those clear to the right. And then click away and let those graphics cards start mining for XDN. 
Now, once you're satisfied with how much mining you have done, or really at any point during mining, you'll notice on the far left side for each currency, it tells you how much of each currency you have. Right now I have just over eight XDN in this wallet. So if I go to the wallet tab and then click on my XDN, and of course, if you are using this for Ethereum mining, it's the exact same process. If you click withdraw, you simply put in the address of the wallet you are withdrawing your currency to. And of course, there is a small fee to actually withdraw your currency. In this case, 0.1 XDN, which is very, very little. And you simply click the withdraw button and your currency would be sent to whatever address you had set it to send to. And that's really all there is to setting up a very simple mining uh, software solution with a graphical user interface. For those of you that don't wanna have to dive into the command prompt, or any of that sort of background uh, batch files or anything else that other solutions may offer. It's extremely simple, which is what I like about this particular take on mining, and it just gets you up and going very quickly. That being said, there are a variety of other solutions that will also get you up and mining, and there's no one way to get your rig up and mining. I just picked this one because I feel like it is a simple solution for most people that may just happen to have one of those random Radeon cards laying around that they wanna to put to some use and start making maybe just a little bit per month back for their time and effort of getting that card set up. So let me know in the comments down below what it is that you mine. Is it Ethereum like a lot of people seem to be doing lately? Are you a Bitcoin miner with ASIC cards or do you mine some other cryptocurrency that I didn't mention? Let me know in the comments. And as always guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, all those things down below, they help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you in the next video.